All right, guys, I'm going to try to show you the corpsing technique that you, uh, a ton of you has been requesting. So what you'll need is some wood glue. Now, I just got tight bond, too. It's what I have on hand. I'm sure any wood glue would work, but this is what I use. So and you need a bowl, a brush, some water, and you need some uh, white rags from Home Depot. So what, what I do um, is I take this tight bond, too. And I'll put some in a bowl or a cup or whatever it is you want to put it in. Okay. And I will add, it don't, it don't have to be distilled water. I just got water out of the tap and put it in this bottle. And I add a little bit to it. So I don't do a 50-50 mix. I do like a 25-75 mix because I do want the integrity of the glue, but I want it thin down where I can put it on these rags fairly easy. You can see how kind of runny it is. So you still want the integrity of the glue, but you just want to thin it so it, it, uh, once you brush it on the rag, it'll, it'll go on fairly easy. Okay, now you need some gloves. I forgot them. So I don't have I have a I have a skeleton here. I don't I don't use plastic skeletons anymore. Uh, I use uh, anatomically correct uh, medical skeletons for my corpsing, and so um, I've only got one of those in a box at the moment. And I'm going to put. Uh, I'll show you how to corpse. So uh, we're going to corpse this uh, big old eight foot mountain I have behind me. And it just kind of shows you that you can basically corpse just about anything. So what I do is I take a shot towel. So you can see how sharp the edges are. Just rip them off. You, you, don't, you don't want them sharp edges on there. And uh, just rip them, rip them down. So these are like a 12 by 12 rag or something like that. And uh, you don't have to be perfect. Just make sure you don't have no hard edges. All right, so you saw me the mix. You saw how I'm doing the rags. Now I'm gonna turn around and show you the mountain that I'm working on if I get it stationed up here right. So here's the mountain I'm working on. You can see how tall it is. It's eight foot tall. It's three foot at the base. And uh, we'll be corpsing that because I'm gonna be putting I'm going to be putting uh, my corpse skeleton on top, and I'm going to make two of these. So if you need to know how to make the base, it's fairly easy. Uh, just throw you a bunch of two by threes together, two by fours, two by twos, whatever you got, and just kind of put them in different angles. They're setting off fireworks. And then I'll, I'll wrap it in a cardboard, just whatever. Then I'll take this other stuff which you get at home decoder. So you can take this paper, you get at Home Depot, and I'll cut me off chunks of that. And I will also put this glue and water mixture on that, then I'll wrap the whole thing in this. And that'll give you a nice rigid, a uh, rigid uh, thing to work with. So now it's not gonna do the same thing as the rags, even though it's nice and rigid and fairly good, uh, this is what you want because we're going to stain this. We're not going to stain that. That's just to give us the good crinkly look on our, I guess, rock, mountain, or whatever you want to call it. So anyway, this is what we're going to start with. And what I do is I lay it down flat and I'll brush on the glue. I know you can't see me right here, but I'm brushing on the glue. Let me see if I hold it there. So I'm just brushing on the glue. I'm doing this with one hand. Um, so you just brush it, brush one side with glue. Okay. Uh, let me get set back up here. So let me get this finished and I'll show you uh, the rest of it. It's really, really simple. This is the, I have done hundreds of corpsing techniques. I'm not saying the rest of them are effective, because they are. 
Uh, some of you guys can make some awesome looking freaking corpses with, you know, uh, foams, uh, spray foams, and whatever. Uh, which I'm not saying it doesn't work, but for the money, the time, and everything, this is the best way I've found. And we're just going to put it on our, put it on our, uh, up here, on our mat. So this is going to be a corpse mat. So let me see if I can move it a little closer for you. So you kind of see the detail in this a little closer. Okay. So hopefully you can see that a little better. So this isn't very well planned. So bear with me. So what we do, now you see how pretty it is? We don't want that. So now that it's wet, we want to take and put your glue on the back side of this, or on the front side of it now. Just wipe it down on there really good. Don't have to be perfect. Don't worry about spillage of your glue, unless you just don't want it on your floor. Um, just wipe it in there really good. So that's all you're doing is you're coating, you're coating both sides. Then I'll take my brush and I will go around and move that uh, rag around a little bit to give you those wrinkles. I try to get out the air bubbles if I can, but I try to give, give it wrinkles. Sorry, trying to give it wrinkles to give it that skin texture of some sorts. There you go. And that's how, how it looks. I don't know how well you can see it. So that's what, that's what gives you the look of the skin and all that stuff. And uh, the trick to this method is making sure it's dry completely. If it is not dry completely, it's probably gonna turn a yellow or orange on you. So you want, you want to make sure it's completely dry. It should dry within a day or I work mostly nights in the evenings, so it'll it'll be dry tomorrow sometime when I come back in, then I can stain it. Now the stain I use, you might want an alternate stain because this gets a little expensive. If you're using a if you're gonna corpse a big project like this, get you a gel stain. And um, so I use this from Tandy Leather. I uh, get it on Amazon. Uh, I can't know if it's gonna focus in. Yeah, I figure it's not gonna focus in. Anyway, it is a Tasdito Havane, whatever that is. Um, I got a picture of it. If you need a picture, just holler at me and I'll send it to you. But that's how, that's how I do my corpse. And you put it on a skeleton. Uh, in my case, we're putting it on this. And then uh, we're putting our skeleton on top of this to make a corpse tower, I guess, our corpse tower. And uh, so... I've got a long ways to go on this. But anyway, I hope you guys, I hope this helps you guys in your corpsing technique. You can corpse just about anything with this method. So try it on your skeletons or build you a tower and put it on or put it on your husband if you want to. I don't know. Anyway, we hope this helps you guys. And uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, type bond too that's what i use i'm pretty sure any glue will work uh water probably 25 75 mix i just kind of go by the feel put in a bowl a brush and uh make it where you can brush it on to your shop towel home depot white rags don't use the blue use the white that way you get a better effect with uh you know a plain canvas in my opinion and that, that's basically it, guys. Um, but, yeah, yeah, if you have any questions, just hit me up. Anyway, this is going on too long. And I uh, hope this helps. Um, keep it creepy. And if you make anything as corpse with this technique, uh, share it in Monster Misfits or send me a video or a picture. That's what you ought to do. If you use this technique and you make something cool, send me a video. Send me a couple-minute video of, of your 
We'll watch your corpse, and uh, hey, maybe we'll do a YouTube channel with all your guys' corpses in there. That would be awesome. Anyway, we hope this helps.